we've seen some really cool features added to ArcGIS.com in the last uh, few weeks. The JavaScript map viewer found in the map button has been extended, as has the ArcGIS Explorer Online application and Microsoft Silverlight application. Now this tool runs very nicely on PCs or Macs in Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, but some of the drag and drop functionality seem to work best on the PC side, particularly when you're using Firefox or Chrome. Uh, either way, all the functionality is available on any of these platforms that will run Silverlight. So I'm at um, now I'm at explorer.rts.com and I'm going to go ahead and load up a new map. And I really just want to demonstrate to you this drag and drop functionality because now, as a part of the content that can be added, your content from your own desktop can be uh, added through this interface, or uh, you can drag and drop it. And what I have with me here are some, but well, I have both a CSV and a shapefile. The first thing I'm going to drag and drop is actually a CSV. It's from the USGS and is the last seven days worth of earthquake data. You'll notice that it intelligently grabs my data, parses it out, and I can make some modifications as needed. But it all looks good, so I'm going to hit the import button. And our Jess Explorer Online is going to crank away and process that data for me. It's then going to create a map and uh, give me the ability to click on and select different uh, um, icons as they appear. This is a fairly large data set, but you will notice that that CSV file has just been mapped. And now I can click on any of my points and read any of the additional data that was included in that CSV. And that's pretty cool. So one of the other neat things we can do with drag and drop in ArcGIS Explorer Online is use a zipped shapefile. And I have zipped a shapefile of Oregon counties, and this actually contains the SHP, the SHX, the DBF, all those files that make up what we commonly think of as a shapefile. And I've just zipped, zipped them together in a single zip, and I've dropped them onto my map application. This data is now being loaded into ArcGIS Explorer Online, and it looks like our map is ready. So we've got a nice map of Oregon counties. I can pull out my layers tab here, and you'll see that I've got a couple different layers, which I can turn on and off. Oregon counties in particular, though, you'll notice that I've got a transparency. I can adjust it. I can also configure the way my data is mapped. So rather than using a single symbol or a single color, I'm actually going to classify my data. And right now, it looks like we're using the attribute of the federal ID, and that really doesn't work all that well. So let's just shift it to population 2005 per square mile. And we are using five classes, and this all looks OK. So I'm going to hit Done. And I'm going to go back to my original layers window. But you'll notice that I now have a complete thematic map of Oregon counties. It's pretty cool. Now, since I've loaded a shape file worth of data, I also have access to a new button, a new palette called a dashboard. And a dashboard allows us quick and easy access to a little bit of information that we pre-select. So in my case, I'm going to select uh, add a dashboard gadget. I'm going to add a pie chart. And I don't use the USGS data, but I'm going to add my Oregon counties. Okay, and all I'm going to do is create a simple gender pie chart so that when I click on a county, I can see a pie chart update dynamically based on who is in that county. So I just clicked on this county, and you'll notice that my pie chart has updated, and I can see what the breakdown of males and females is. And click on other counties and again I get breakdowns. So I can add multiple gadgets over here so that I get detailed uh, information about any of the counties I click on. So these are some of the new features, particularly the drag and drop features available to you at ArcGIS Explorer Online uh, found at ArcGIS.com.